Hello and welcome to Render Love. Today I'm going to be doing my January 2015 review of my Ipsy Glam Bag. So excited. I love Ipsy. I only got one month so far and this is my second month, but I am so excited to get Ipsy. I just want to say um, that if you're interested in signing up for Ipsy, go ahead and use my link from below. And if you sign up with Ipsy through my link from below and notify me that you did so, um, I will send you a gift of mine, either from one of the boxes or some of the makeup or some of the jewelry that I make. And all the makeup and jewelry and stuff is, you know, all organic and 925 sterling silver and stuff like that. So you don't have to worry about it being full of lead. So I'm going to open this and then we'll get into the bag. Okay, so after I opened the packaging, I just wanted to open it because it was going to be so loud off uh, the camera. So it says Fresh Start by Ipsy. And I do like their little kind of simulated cartoon or I don't know what you want to call that. Their little drawings that they've been doing lately. It's pretty cute. And then it just kind of says, you know, snap a pic. You know, you could win a one year um, of subscription to Ipsy, which would be awesome if they picked one of the pictures that I've snapped. So, um, this here is a unique bag. I've only gotten two so far, and this one's got like a metal. Last last month's was a plastic heart. This one's a metal heart that says, I mean, a metal circle that says Ipsy, and it's orange. The outside of the bag is white um, on one side, and it's like a textured, um, it reminds me of like uh, I don't know, like a mix between, oh, a tablecloth. That's what it reminds me of, like a like a middle-scale price to mid-scale price tablecloth. Um, it's thick, if you can see the thickness. The stitching looks okay. Um, I wouldn't stretch it, you know, out, outrageously, but yeah, I mean, it's good. And the other side is blue, and it's also, you know, the tablecloth filling. I do like the the metal, the metal uh, Ipsy charm instead of the plastic one from last month. This bag feels more sturdy than the bag last month. Well, they're, they're same sturdiness. It has orange uh, vinyl stuff inside. So let's see. We got Eco Beauty, Eco Beauty by La Fresh Group. Good day. I'm sorry. Good day. Good day. Moist. <laughs> good day. Day moisturizer. Jeez, I'm like, good, good, good. Okay, so it's 0.5 ounces, 15 grams. This one says, you know, bye bye worries to the skin looking tired and dry. It's highly natural, biodegradable, cruelty free, California born, applied to your neck and face. You know, um, so there's the ingredients right there. Very good. So, um, you know, this is a big size sample, and you know what I really like about this sample is like you could work it up like toothpaste. Say you get to the, you know, some some samples that are in tubes, it's so hard to squeeze them out or whatever, and that this is a foil pack, but it has a spout on it, so it's like resealable if you don't have to use it all. I like this a lot, so this is cool. The next thing we got in here is a... Uh, Elizabeth Mott all over shadow brush made in South Korea pretty cool I, I, I like brushes I just uh, got my daughter a whole like 20 set and I don't have any of my own so I'm always happy to get one every now and then in my bag so that's the second brush I've gotten from Ipsy which I'm happy all right, so here we go. But it's not the s same brush. It's a second, different brand, different brush. I had a dual brush last time. You can look at my last video. Then we got a Pacifica Natural Mineral Coconut Eyeshadow. 0 0.08 ounces, 2.5 grams. From PacificaBeauty.com. This is an ethereal, rich, lasting eyeshadow infused with coconut. 100% vegan, cruelty-free, formulated without food coloring, parabens, and petroleum. That's great. There's the ingredients. Um, I saw a lot of people saying that this smells like coconut, coco, coconut, coco, excuse me, 
It smells like coconut powder or coconut scent. I don't smell maybe lightly. I don't I don't really smell a coconut scent coming out of this uh, eyeshadow. But there's a view of the pigment color and I'm not going to swatch this because I kind of want to give this away um, in a giveaway or as a gift. I'm not quite sure but I this is one that you know I, I want to keep too so wow dilemma dilemma but um, you know I, I just put it in a pile of you know gifts and I go through and see what I'm going to give away when I'm going to give away something. Like whether it's a birthday or a special occasion that I'm giving someone a gift. I just want to give them just because. Or because you're my subscribers and you watch my videos, then that's another reason you'd be included in my giveaway items. So I like this um, color and this brand. And I like the fact that they don't have a multitude of chemicals in their um, beauty product. The next one I got here is Bella Pierre Cosmetic in Celebration. And as you can see, it is like minimal ingredients, which is great. 2.35 grams, 0 0.08 ounces, made in the United States. So um, I got a request. Uh, if you haven't already seen my audio free version of this Ipsy. Unback, um, unboxing, then you will understand that um, someone had asked me to swatch this. I wasn't going to swatch it initially because I was going to give it away, but the more I think about it, I think I'm going to keep this color. So I'll go ahead and swatch it and show you what it looks like once it's done. Okay, so it was quite a struggle to open that, but um, I got it open. And I think that they actually glued it. I'm not quite sure. Maybe they just picked like the most snug fitting cap or sifter to put in there. But it certainly was like so tight. Like I was struggling to get that off. But um, here we go. You know, you can see how pretty the color is. And I know that I said this color celebration. So I'm just going to kind of um, swatch it from not that big pile. But just this is just from what's on the sifter lead. It, it's like super duper pigmented. So let's see what this looks like. I just had just a little because you know it's just coming from the sifter lid top. It's not being dipped. So as you can see like it's super 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 shiny. Like this is like super like wow. It's like gold. Liquid gold. It's pretty but it's really like pigmented. Like, um, I can't even begin to tell you, like, how pretty that looks in person. Um, I just swiped the whole cap on me so you could kind of get an idea of what that looks like. You see how pigmented that is? It looks like I drew on myself with marker paint. But, um, that was from the top of the cap, so now I'm going to swipe with this from my, um, brush. And let's see what that looks like. Oh wow, it's even darker. Look at that. This was from the lid <laughs> when I actually dipped my brush in. Look at how dark that is. That is crazy. Like you can't even see in between my wrinkles and my skin. Can you see that? It's like all colored in. You can't see the color of my flesh. Wow. So when I use a brush, expect heavy coverage. It's super shiny and very nice. Um, so this is the first time I've actually swatched this since I got the bag even though I got it like last week. This is super cool. I like this color a lot. I'm glad I decided to keep it thanks to the viewer who asked me to swatch it because I wouldn't even have opened it if she didn't ask. And um, I'm glad she asked because boy oh boy do I like this color and I'm glad she asked me to open it because I would have been sad to see it go. This is really pretty. And um, I think I looked online and this was $14.99 online on their website. And the last thing I got in my Ipsy bag this month is a Probel Nail Lacquer, 0.5 fluid ounces, 15 milliliters. It's top quality, high gloss, long lasting nail Lacquer. It's the 5 free. 
It's got shakers in it. It's into the blue color. And I swatched this, um, this color as well. So as you can see, here's uh, the Into the Blue by Proval, that color, alongside the nail polish color. They are like almost true and accurate to each other um, on the camera versus it being painted. It's a very pretty color. So this is Into the Blue. And let me just show you what it looks like on my skin complexion. It's very pretty. I like it a lot. I normally don't wear blues, but after seeing it with my skin tone, I think this would make a very cute toenail polish or, you know, if you're doing something festive, this blue nail polish would be great. With a lot of decoration or something like that or even glitter. I like this color. It's really pretty. It's like um two coats only. No gloss coat on top. Only just two coats of this no top coat. So out of everything that I got in my bag I'm really happy about the things I've got. The Into the Blue Nail Polish by Probella. Very pretty. I like it. My um, my Amy Mott, I mean I'm sorry excuse me, Elizabeth Mott All Over Eyeshadow Brush. Like this a lot too. The Eco Beauty Good Day Moisturizer. Awesome, awesome that is a foil pack with a lid to close it. The Pacifica All Natural Coconut Eyeshadow. Awesome. I like the fact that it's all natural, the ingredients in it. I love the color. I actually might keep this. Um, and I definitely ended up keeping this. I, I, I fell in love with it the more I stared at it. So this is the Celebration um, color and that's what it looks like with the brush or just rubbed off of the, the sifter. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you're interested in joining Ipsy, please use my referral link and you could get um, a gift from me, either from one of my Ipsy bags or one of my other subscription boxes or something that I make, whether it's makeup or jewelry. And everything I make is also all natural and has no chemicals in it. So if you're interested in trying an Ipsy bag and willing to sign up with my referral link, I'll be more than happy to reward you with um, an awesome thing that I have, either some of the extra things that I get from in these subscription boxes for a giveaway, or uh, some of the makeup or jewelry that I make. Either way, you're getting a great thing um, because you're already getting an Ipsy bag that you would have gotten because you wanted it anyways, but you're also getting something just for using my link. So I really appreciate it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm sorry about the first video where the audio was shot. I don't know what happened, but I hope you enjoyed this video. And um, until next time, remember to render love to each other. And don't forget to render love to yourself too. Have a great day.